Alright guys, this video is going to explain how to clean up your dashboard. So I've just come in and I've added in a couple of new acquisitions, um, the new leads in here. Uh, some of the ones that I added in here I already had under contract. Um, so I pushed them to my pipeline and then a couple of them, uh, one I moved into my rehab because it's an active rehab that I have going on and one I moved into my rentals because it's an active rental going on. Um, I also created a tenant to match with that rental and I created a cash buyer as well in my contacts app. So you can see all of this was done in this activity stream. You can see I um, added an acquisition, moved it, moved it around, you know, it referenced it with the pipeline app. There it is in the deal pipeline. Here it is in the rental app as well as all of these things fired off statuses in my dashboard and created a bunch of items for me. There's my one in my rehab. Checklist is going now. There's my test renter. So you can see I just did a lot of stuff. Well, let's go into my dashboard and let's see what we got going on. All right, so now I've got all of these tasks in here to the different people that you know the system comes with. And I haven't even added my roles yet. Um, you probably have done that already, but I haven't. And I was just playing around with this system. So now I need to come in here and I need to clean this up because, you know, I've got, let's see where it says <clears throat> acquisition is a new lead. You know, the ones that I added into my acquisitions, these three, mm, I think only one of them was technically a new lead that I'm currently following up on. Um, I don't even know if it was this one. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the one that I pushed to my pipeline, um, and I think maybe is a rental now. I'm not even sure. So what I need to do is come through, and this is basically what you're going to be doing every day. But in the beginning here, when you're adding things to your system and things are firing off that don't need to be fired off, uh, we do have to come through and clean this up. So easy, if you've got everything settled in your apps, and you want to just clean this up and you don't care about any of these or looking through them, click this button and click delete and then type in delete these items, okay? And then hit delete these items. If you do want to go through them one at a time and to make sure, you know, start kind of learning the system. So when you add a new lead in acquisition and it's a new lead status, it creates this task. New lead to whoever your acquisition manager is and it says look over the new Podio lead and filter a follow-up as needed. So you can click here relation to item and that'll take me to the acquisition app or you can click here see this is the acquisition app and then this is the actual item in the acquisition app um, and it tells you when it's due and what the priority is. I can come through and take these and complete them as no further action. Let's see what my next one is. Here it is, pipeline, under contract to buy. This was the same one, 123 Main Street. I think I made this one a rental. Yep, I sure did. So if I click on it, this will take me to the pipeline now. All right, and it's rented. It's in my rental app. Let's go back. It says, under contract to buy. Let's see what my description is. Get contract documents to lawyer and title company. All right, and then if you see, I have a next auto action here. So. I can say that this is complete, next auto action, and it'll fire off this next one here. Pipeline under contract to buy. So let's refresh this. There it is, pipeline under contract to buy. So I just created this because I checked that one off. And so again, there's another one. This one says collect earner's money deposit. Um, and get it to the closing agent. All right, let's say I did that. I can check that off, and this one will fire off. So I, this is just how you go through and, and clean up your, your dashboard. Um, go through them one by one, complete them, see what fires off next, or again, just click here and hit delete these items. All right, and now you've got a fresh dashboard. So now all your leads are in here, all your deals are in here, they're already in rehab, all your active rehabs are going, all of your active rentals are going, and you've got everything situated. And you've got a clean dashboard that you can start with so when now when things happen, 
people will get tasks and they will be for real. They'll be real tasks. You'll want them to accomplish them. You, will, you don't want them to delete them. Um, the next thing you can do is go through here. Let's see. Um, and we can go into our rehab and our rental app. Okay, so remember, when something is marked under contracts in acquisitions, it creates in deal pipeline. It also creates an item in rehab and in rentals. So whatever you decide to do with that house, if you end up wholesaling that house, great. It's, you know, it's gone. If you end up flipping or, you know, rehabbing that house, it's already in your rehab. If you then in turn end up renting it, it's already there. So what you want to do is, you know, say you have, you're a big flipper and um, everything just goes into your rehabs app. You don't need any rentals. So you can come in here and you can clean this up. So the one here, I've already got this as my rental, so I'm not going to delete it. But this one, I'm just rehabbing it and I'm going to sell it on the back side. And I don't need to keep it in my, uh, my rental app. You can do one of two things. Again, you can delete it so you'll no longer see it. It'll never be in the rental app again. I don't suggest that. I don't really like deleting things. You can just come down here and mark this dead. Call it a day. And then when you come in here, it is dead. And let's see, status, um, depending on your, here you go, active rentals, it'll, it won't show up anymore on your active rental screen in your view. Now again, when I hit dead, it did fire off another task. So let's go check out what that task was. Oh, where'd it go? Workflows. Oh, you know what? It didn't, it just referenced it. There was no, I don't have any uh, dashboard templates to when I hit dead there. So there you go. That is the end of your tutorial on how to clean up your dashboard. Um, get it here play with it. Um, again, get, get rid of all the items that you don't need anymore. Change your views. Play with this. Make it look the way you want it to look. Add private views where, again, just add just your view, just your dashboard items show up here. Each, each employee, each member in your organization can have their own views. They, they'll just keep them private. Uh, if you come up with a great view that you think the team would like, you can make it a team view and they'll show up here. Um, hope that was helpful. Thanks.